I think we're ready. All right, I guess we are. We're going to Venice. Your favorite place in the world. Yeah, bring them in, please. All right, so we made it. We're halfway home. Make a little pit stop. Well, we're here, boy. You ready to fish? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna take a break? I can rest. I can rest some other time. <laughs> <laughs> this evening, <clears throat> we going after big bull copper nose brim. And I can't think of many things more fun than getting on a brim bed with a juvenile and an old man. And hopefully, we'll use that hummingbird to locate one of them big beds and we're going to lay the smack down on them. Now, in this case, we're going to be using a panfish magnet, a little split tail. You got your jig, your brim jig that comes with it. I like to have that, that green down, makes me feel better inside. So I'm gonna thread it on that, on that hook, and that's how he's gonna sit, just like that. We're using two pound line here. Makes a big difference, on, especially lakes that have clear water. Here we are, Si. They're on there. They're on there? Oh yeah. We we'll use this buoy as a target to throw at. So I'll get the buoy on the opposite side of the brim bed. That way we'll let that wind carry that light bait far. That might not be far enough to the right. You're good, there he is. You got him, real, real. Good, nice. Swing him over here. Use the pole. Alright, boat clip. Boat clip. Alright, that's what we're hunting right there. That's it, boys. And it just started going under, boys. There he is. Like right there. This time I won't hop you. You saw that pretty brim. These suckers are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Do they pull, Si? Do they pull? Good grief. You talking about pull. Oh, do these suckers pull? Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ty, get you another one. No, no, you're good. <laughs> oh my goodness. You talking about a pull. You talking about a boot. Oh, hey, they don't get much bigger than that stone. No. That's real nice right there. Come up this way. You talking about bruisers. I mean, these suckers are bruisers. Boy, you talking about fine. Whoa, they leave him darn flyers. No, you are going to close to that. Oh, yeah, leave. You talking about pull. <laughs> you talking about pull. Look at this sucker. Golly! You talking about a brim? That's a brim there. Now that, that's a big, big copper nose brim. 
He tore, he tore up my, my, my jig. Alright, I got plenty of them, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've been after. Big guy, you gonna get him? We're down here in Venice, but we brought some giant brim with us. So we're about to fry them up. Turn them up. Turn them up. I'm ready. We're to about to fry up. these up for supper. Cause my buddy Josh, he don't get to eat freshwater fish that much. It's be a little surprise for him. Ah, yeah, that'll work. Now these these so-called fish counters they ain't much, are they, sir? No, no, oh, you do better, a lot, do a lot better yes, job. Spoons spin. are coming. So, all we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna scale these fish, and then, then, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the slab off the side of them, and we're gonna fry these babies. Whoops, go ahead. Take the <clears throat> Cut them at an angle. You can get a steeper angle than that. Head comes off. Then pull the guts out. Now, another little trick you can do is make it cut right down them fins. And when you fry it, make you cut here, make you cut here, and that would just peel right off. I just put a little bit of mustard on, even on these whole ones. You don't have to, but it makes it makes your batter a little crispier, more batter. It just makes the batter stick, stick a little better when you roll it in the dredge. So then we got a few fillets. We're gonna fry them up too, in case somebody don't like whole fried brim. I got my purple onions, and that's egg wash with a little milk. They're just soaking. They've been soaking for about an hour. It's time to make the dredge. So, dredge is just whatever batter we're gonna use. I like, um, I do a mixture of stuff, just over the years, stuff that I prefer. Put me a whole bag of uh, fish fry, Zatarain makes a good one. They have pre sifted flour in here, there's a little bit of flour in there. I like to use old standard yellow cornmeal, because they tend to make a crunchier batter than anything else. And then, and I'll go crazy with this. I'd say about four tablespoons of uh, crab bowl. I'm gonna do three heaping. That looks like enough. We'll take our onion rings. We'll cook them first. Good, good little. Father, we love you. We thank you for our friends and family. Thank you for Josh and his hospitality and his love for you. Uh, thank you so much for Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. Thank you for this good food right out of your creation. Amen. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Right, well, let's see what these little brand plates are. Pretty solid.